What's going on guys? So we have completed all of the Hall of Fame programs in MLB The Show 24. And we're gonna show you guys how we did that so that you guys can do it too and save yourself some time and not waste time when you are grinding these missions and completing these programs in MLB The Show 24. A lot of good XP, a lot of good news, so let's get into it. Let's not waste your time. Subscribe if you're new, like the video, leave a comment down below. Which one of these guys that you guys want the most on your team? Is it Beltre? Is it Maurer? Or is it Todd Helton? Let's go ahead and take a look at these guys, starting with Todd Helton. 99 overall, Todd Helton. We're not really gonna go over the 91s or 95s. Those are just not the greatest. You're after the 99. And 99 Todd Helton is very, very good. 125, 120 contact, 108, 90 power with 125 clutch, 88 fielding, 81 reaction. Plays a good first baseman defense over there. Not that first base defense is that important, but he plays it very, very good. He's also got homebody, night player, first pitch hitter, rally monkey, breaking ball hitter, and dead red, as well as fighter, situational hitter, bad ball hitter, as his quirks. So very good, very good swing too from what I've seen just by using them against the CPU and stuff like that. Now, when it comes to his like missions, you want to do the three moments. That's the first thing you're gonna do. You're not gonna touch the extreme moment. I didn't do it as a waste of time in my opinion. If you don't do it the first try or second try, you're just wasting your time. If you do it and you do it and you hit it and you get it done first or second try, I think it's worth it, but it's only worth five stars. If this is worth like 15 stars in the program, this would be much more worth it. It's just not to me because PXP also gives you like five stars and it's just way faster to do. Speaking of PXP, PXP with the Colorado Rockies, 500 PXP gives you five stars. And they also have a repeatable one. Another 500 PXP with Colorado Rockies gives you five stars and it is repeatable. So you can just do this over and over and over again if you want until you get to 50 stars and complete the program. However, that's not the best method. What you're really gonna look at is your team missions, hits with the Rockies, extra base hits with the Rockies, raw RBIs with the Rockies, home runs with the Rockies. Those are gonna give you four stars each. That's 20 right there. Just load your entire roster with Colorado Rockies and get these done. And then also, uh, you need 50 total bases with first baseman for four stars. Load your roster with a bunch of first basemen. Get this done. Now, how I did it is I almost had like a mixed roster. I would have my three guys I need missions with, right? Todd Helton, Joe Maurer, and Adrian Beltre. And then I would have like three guys from the Rockies, three guys from the from the Twins, and then Beltre played for so many teams, just pick one, you know, right? Just pick one that needs some offensive stats. You don't have to defeat the Colorado Rockies on Hall of Fame. I didn't do it. You don't need to do it either. Next is going to be your stat missions with Todd Helton. This is going to be the 91 overall and the 95 overall. So with the 91 overall, I got eight hits, five RBIs, and 20 total bases. And with the 95 overall, I didn't do any of the missions. They're not repeatable, and I didn't finish any of them, and I already got Todd Helton's 99 overall. So you don't need to finish or even worry about the 95 overall missions to get this done. And Hall of Fame event missions, I did not do any of those. I didn't, haven't even touched the event yet, so you don't have to worry about those either. All right, next up, Joe Maurer, 125, 125 contact, 95, 86 power, 125 clutch, 95 fielding, 87 arm, 90 ac accuracy, and 92 reaction with 95 blocking. Very, very good. Also, Quirks, Road Warrior, Night Player, First Pitch Hitter, Situational Hitter, Fighter, Dead Red are his quirks. And the same thing with him. You're going to do the three moments. Knock those three moments out of the way, and you are good to go. Next up, your PXP missions. PXP with the Twins this time is going to get you five stars as well as the repeatable five stars as well for the 500 PXP. And then for the team missions, hits, extra base hits, RBIs, and home runs, get those right there, get those taken care of, and you're good to go. And then also total bases with catchers. Doesn't have to be from the Twins. Any catcher will get the job done. Just 50 total bases with catchers, and there you go. That's four 
times five, that's gonna be 20 stars right there. 20 stars from the missions, and then your stat missions, hits with the 91, RBIs with the 91, and total bases with the 91. You're gonna to wanna to do those, and once again, this is a little trend, you don't have to do the 95 overall missions in order to beat this. You don't need to do the Hall of Fame missions, and you don't need to do the extreme moment. So just do what I tell you to do and you'll get, you'll get it done pretty quickly. And then finally, the hardest one because he played for so many teams, that is gonna be Adrian Beltre. 115, 125 contact, 100, 102 power with 125 clutch, 99 fielding, 90 arm, 85 accuracy and 95 reaction. And he's gonna have homebody, night player, first pitch hitter, situational hitter, breaking ball hitter and dead red, also bad ball hitter and table setter as his quirks. Do your three moments. PXP missions. This is where it gets a little bit tricky. Now, you get 500 with the Rangers, you get five stars. However, his repeatable ones are only worth two stars because he played for so many teams. You got the Dodgers, the Mariners, the Red Sox, and the Rangers. However, they cut the PXP in half, so instead of 500, you only need 250. So what I would do if I was grinding Adrian Beltre, I would pitch three innings with a Dodgers player and then have a bunch of Red Sox players in my lineup or vice versa, pitch with a Red Sox player and have a lineup full of Dodger hitters. That way you're going to get the 250 with the Dodger hitters and then you're going to pitch those three innings with the Red Sox pitcher and get the 200 and get the 250 PXP at the same game. So you're able to tackle two teams at once. You'll pitch with one team and you'll hit with the other team. So then I would pitch with the Mariners and then put a, a bunch of hitters from the Rangers on my team. And that's how I would tackle these as fast as possible. Next is gonna be your team missions for Adrian Beltre. Hits with the Dodgers, extra base hits with the Mariners, RBIs with the Red Sox, home runs with the Rangers, and total bases with third baseman. As you see, I didn't do the home runs on him. I didn't do the RBIs on him. We did the extra base hits with the Mariners and the 30 hits with the Dodgers. Didn't really touch that much for the Red Sox or the Rangers. Could have done the Rangers, but we did not. And then the total bases with the third baseman was pretty easy as well. You just stack your lineup with a bunch of third basemen and get that done. Now for the Adrian Beltre missions, 91 overalls, hits, RBIs, and total bases with Beltre. And once again, we did not touch the 95 overall card. When it, well, we touched them. We just didn't finish any of the missions with the 95 overall. We didn't do the Hall of Fame event, and we didn't do the extreme moment. And then that's how we completed the Hall of Fame program as fast as possible. Probably roughly around three hour grind, could be less depending on how well you do in your games as well, and just how you manage tackling those missions as fast as possible. I did everything play versus CPU, it was pretty easy. Now let's go take a look at what else they kind of did. So if you go to Special Collections, someone said they put these cards, and they did. They put the cards in the All-Star Collection. So if you guys still need cards for the All-Star Collection to try to get that 99 Aaron Judge or that 99 Shohei Otani, these are three free cards that you guys can put in that collection right now and hopefully get you guys closer to that Aaron Judge or that Shohei Otani. So that's also a huge dub. They also added them to the season collection. So season two collection, you can add them into this collection as well. And they are there. Now, from doing all this, we got a wheel spin. So we got a chase pack from the wheel spin. And we also got nine show packs, three ball and packs, and four headliners from completing this. So let's go ahead and open these and see if we can get lucky. If I pull any diamonds, you guys will see them. That's not the diamond we want to pull, but okay. All right, Ballin' as a Habit Pack is going to pull us a diamond. What are we going to get out of this? It's purple, but hey, we got a diamond out of the Ballin' as a Gold Pack, so we'll take that. And it is Bobby Witt Jr. He might go 90+. plus. I might keep him around and see what happens. We already have a 22 of them, so we might as well see. And we also got four Headliner Packs. All right, a diamond from our last Headliner Pack. What's it going to be? It will be blue, so I'm assuming we got a Headliner Player. We got Pablo Lopez, 93 overall. We already got him. He goes for around 19K. We'll take our 19K and say goodbye to Pablo Lopez. Man, when I see blue, I don't even get excited no more. I'm like, hey, 
I hope that's like a trot or something, but no, it's always like a, an actual program card, especially out of headliners. Can never trust blue lights. But we got a chase pack number nine from the wheel spin. What do we get from this? We get a purple. And that's going to be the end of today's video. If you guys did enjoy this video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, turn notifications on, leave a comment down below which one of those Hall of Fame cards that you guys want the most. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.